on your side of the fucking road, moron. everyone I just wanted to do a really quick um, segment <laughs> about something that uh, that happened the other day um, I was uh, I was checking my comments because most of you that uh, frequent the channel regularly probably know that all of my comments on my channel are set to um, approval meaning that I need to approve them before they actually post uh, to my videos well, I had this comment the other day that I chose not to approve because it was asinine. And uh, I'm not going to say who put it on my channel because I don't want them to get views or gain popularity for it being an asshole. All I did was basically, um, I just deleted the comment and didn't approve it. The, the comment that was left was very un unconstructive. Is that the word? Unconstructive? It's not deconstructive. Whatever. Um, it was just, it, it had nothing to do at all with the video, and the kid was just going on and on and on about how I'm such a fucking, uh, how I'm an asshole, and I'm impatient, and all this other shit, and like, that I don't need to fucking yell at people in traffic. Well, I mean, number one, I'm gonna say this right now, if you don't have a motorcycle, then don't fucking comment saying that I'm angry. Buy a motorcycle, ride a friend's motorcycle, whatever you gotta do. Or just go on YouTube, even if it's not my moto vlog, watch what some other bikers put up with. It's fucking ridiculous how bad people drive. And it might sound like I'm angry because you're hearing three or four minutes of conversation each video. And keep in mind, I if I ride my bike for three hours one day, and I stop home for a little bit to recharge my GoPro and then I go back out. I mean, I'm, I'm accruing like, you know, probably six hours of video per day whenever I ride my bike. And I usually wait a couple days until I make a video. So, um, but let's just round it off and say that I have 20 hours of video sitting on my computer that I need to edit and need to do something with because it's just sitting there. What I would have to do is basically just sift all that down to all the parts where there was actually some kind of either altercation or something stupid happens. So if you think that I just drive around all day fucking grumbling about how miserable I am, I'm not a miserable person. You're seeing, you know, three or four minutes of 20 hours of footage. I would say if I'm only angry at other drivers, um, for such a short period of time on the entire time that I'm on this bike and I'm riding around I would say that's pretty good compared to most bikers that I know Just people in general at car drivers. I don't understand what it is and my, my theory of why people drive so poorly is because they have less to concentrate on and they get almost bored driving and, and they feel the need to entertain themselves when you're on a motorcycle you don't have a stereo um, you don't have air conditioning you don't have knobs to fuck with the only controls you have are the throttle clutch brake um, your shifter and uh, another brake but if you're just cruising like going straight you're basically just worrying about the throttle and keeping your eyes up the entire time to make sure you don't fucking rail into someone or an animal or whatever um, car drivers just sit on their ass they use one foot because most people in this country don't drive uh, manual transmission so they're literally only using the right foot the entire time and steering a wheel a wheel is a hell of a lot easier than handlebars where you have to take things into account like counter steering and the amount of grip that you actually have but yeah they just I, I don't I think driving a car I think it makes you a lazy person and I guarantee you anyone out there that thinks that bikers are the problem um, 
I would challenge them to drive a motorcycle for just one week, just one single week, and tell me if their opinions have changed on whether or not they think bikers are the problem on the road or if it's the asshole car drivers that are not paying attention because they're paying attention to screaming children, cell phones, um, and screwing with the radio or their GPS or just are just generally not intelligent people. See, that's the great thing about biking or motorcycling, whatever you want to call it, is that this is something that demands your attention every second that you're on it. And motorcycles do a very good job of weeding out people that are not smart enough to be on a bike. People that crash their first month doing like 70 miles an hour around a corner that there was no way that they were ever going to make. That, that's what I'm talking about. It's, it's almost like, um, uh, you know, Darwin's Law for motorcycles. Another thing that I wanted to throw out there is honestly, I mean, if you're watching a moto vlog, you're not watching it just to see someone's motorcycle move around. That would get boring as hell. Can you imagine just sitting through um, like a six minute video and it's nothing but 